Okay, so um, I've got some um, trout in the freezer, which I bought, which I reduced uh, a while back, and I've defrosted it, some rainbow trout, two fillets. So um, I was looking through my lovely Tom Kerridge book and took a bit of influence from what he suggested. So in here I've got my vegetables and I haven't really sliced my um, fennel too uh, thin, just cut it into uh, two slices. And I put some bacon medallions over, garlic, and um, I, I've, I left my vegetables in chunks. I haven't really done it too finely and uh, put a bit of fry light on top. So I'm just going to put a vegetable stock cube over that, uh, like Tom suggested, and um, uh, cook it for about 15 minutes with the foil on. And that should get it started. So I've got three quarters of the mug of uh, hot water and a vegetable uh, stock cube. It did say to use fish stock, but I don't have any. So anyway, not to bother. Um, that's what our recipes are for, making and breaking. Uh, I have added in some uh, lemon zest and a uh, chunk of lemon. I'm going to pull that over. Cover it in foil and that's it. 15 minutes time we'll look at adding in the thing. Wow, that's absolutely lovely. So as per Tom's instruction, I'm going to give you a blowtorch in a go. Just to crisp off the skin a little bit. Now this is a jeweller's, um, it's my husband's, he does a uh, lot of handcraft things. And this is his jeweller's uh, blowtorch that I've borrowed. I think I might run out of gas in a minute. Keep it moving because it's quite an intense fire on this one. It's quite a narrow flame. It's a very good soil, isn't it? So I'm very happy with this. I'm going to dish it up now. I think it's almost seared enough for my liking. And there we go, it's going to be better there, but it's really crusty now. I do try and cut some uh, lines into the fish skin on the outside. Oh, my knife wasn't sharp enough. I was getting told off for not using a chopping board and spoiling the sharpness of my um, knife edge. Oh, that'll do, I reckon. There we go. Time to dish that up, I reckon, onto my plate. Thanks, Tom Kerridge, for the inspiration.